Hello friends, this is Dave of javacodejunkie.com and welcome back to another JavaFX video tutorial. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to use the date picker control. Let's begin by creating a new Eclipse project. I'm going to File, New, Other, JavaFX Project, Next, and I'll call this project Date Picker Demo. Click Finish, then I'll right click on the project in the Package Explorer, click on Build Path, and then Configure Build Path. Click on Class Path, and I'm going to add the JavaFX libraries to this project. So I'll click Add Library, and then select User Library and click Next. Select JavaFX, and click Finish and then click Apply and Close, and then I'm going to open up the main.java file. So this will be our starting point. We have a border pane as the root of our scene graph. I'm going to change the size from 400 by 400 to 600 by 400. Running the program at this point, we'll see that we have our standard stage. So let's set a title for our stage. Primary stage dot set title date picker demo. The JavaFX date picker control is a combo box with the addition of a pop up calendar that will allow the user to either enter a date as text or select a date from a pop up calendar. Let's create a new object of type date picker. Date picker. The object I'll call date picker equals new date picker. Let's add the date picker to the top area of our border pane. And let's run our program. So you can see at the top of our screen, we have a new date picker control that we've added. We have a text area where the user can enter a date as text. And we have a button that has a calendar graphic. And when we click on that button, a pop-up calendar is displayed. By default, it pops up the current month and year. And if you see down in the bottom left-hand corner with a blue box around it, it also shows the current day as the 24th of January. And here we can select any date by default, selection of dates is wide open. You can select any date, past, present, or future, simply by clicking in the calendar or by typing in a date in the text area. So let's click on today's date, and then the date is then entered into the text area of the date picker control. If instead we were to enter a date, so let's say 2020, 12, 25, then click on the drop down you'll see that it has accepted the date that was entered as December 25th, 2020. When a new date is entered or selected in a date picker control, an action event is generated. So let's add an event handler so that we can print out some messages to our system console showing the dates that were selected as we continue to configure our date picker control. Date picker. I'll use for convenience the set on action. New event handler. Action event. We'll import the action event class. We'll import the event handler class. And now we'll add the handle method. And in the handle method, I'm going to show you how you can get the current value of the date picker. We're going to do a sys out to our system console. You have selected the date, date picker dot get value. The get value method is how you retrieve the current date in the date picker control. Let's run our program again. 
and we'll make a selection from the calendar pop-up. Let's choose the 21st of January. And in our console, you see our message. You've selected the date 2021-0121, which is January 21st. So let's enter a future date, 2025-02-16. And again, down in our system console, we get the message. You've selected the date 2025-02-16 which is what we entered into the date picker text field. We can also programmatically set a value in the date picker control. And of course, there's a method for that. It's date picker dot set value. And it expects a local date and we can use a static method of the local date class to set the current date. Local date dot now. We'll organize our imports to import the local date class. And now when we run, we should see today's date in the date picker. And there's today's date, January 24th, 2021. And we can also set a specific date for our date picker by again using a static method of the local date class, date picker dot set value local date dot of and here we can specify the year the month and the day and then when we run the date picker should contain the value 1955-0415 or April 15th 1955 1955-0415 and then we Hit the drop down, you'll see we are in April of 1955. We can also programmatically clear the value in the date picker. And this is kind of a two step process because we have to clear the value that's in the editor and we also have to set our property to null. Date picker dot get editor dot clear. And then the second step is to set the value to null. So running that now, we will no longer see the 1955-0415 when our date picker is displayed because this clearing is done right after we actually set the value. Let's run and we are clear, which means we should see the current date in the calendar dropdown. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing so that you don't miss any future content when I release new videos. Thanks for hanging out with me again today. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you again in the next video. Until then, stay safe and keep on coding.